गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एंड अंडर दिस मेन टॉपिक विल कवर सेकेंडरी मेमोरी एज इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शंस डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी हैव बिन डिस्कस्ड जस्ट लाइक प्राइमरी मेमोरी एंड अंडर द प्राइमरी मेमोरी आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्राइमरी मेमोरीज देअ जस्ट लाइक रैम एंड रोम एंड इवन दो आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ रैम एंड रोम आर अवेलेबल सो दीज टॉपिक्स हैव बिन कवर्ड इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज सेकेंडरी मेमोरी सो दिस टॉपिक विल बी कवर्ड टूडे so let us start this topic as uh, you people know that secondary memory means uh, just like non volatile memory non volatile means that is permanent in nature means uh, if the power is switched off or the power is gone then uh, there is um, then this kind of memory or the data which is saved in this kind of memory will remain at the same location and will be saved uh in this type of memory so this is basically secondary memory and uh, this is external in nature means if you want to add if you want to add uh, or if you want to increase the size of uh, if you want to increase the memory size of your laptop of your computer then obviously uh, you can add it so this is basically external memory it is not required to process your computer okay but primary memory is required and it is mandatory for processing your computer and your laptop okay so i hope you have understood like what do you mean by secondary memory so let us start uh, secondary memory as uh, secondary memory is external memory as i have told you and it is permanent in nature that means you can say it is non volatile in nature because in case of primary memory you say that uh, primary memory is volatile so volatile means temporary that means this kind of memory is non volatile in nature that means you can say that this memory is permanent in nature why uh, because uh, the data which you save in secondary memory that just like uh, in um, hard disk or pen drive so it uh, uh, it will uh, it remain Uh, or it is stored in your uh, secondary memory devices uh, until and unless you delete that data it will be remain at the same location okay so that is why you say that it is permanent in nature so now the secondary memory is concerned with mem mem uh, magnetic memory why it is called that it is a magnetic kind of memory because in case of secondary memory there are some uh, types where uh, magnetic coating is used just like in case of hard disk magnetic coating is used just like in case of floppy disk so which was used in the earlier time so in that uh, types of secondary memory magnetic layer was used were used so primary memory has limited storage uh, capacity as you will very well know that primary memory has limited storage capacity and it is volatile volatile means temporary but secondary memory overcome this limitation by providing permanent storage of data means you can save the data even for a longer time like if you want to save the data for 10 years or 20 years so you can save it within the or with the help of the secondary memory even though in bulk quantity you can save the data okay so this is um, that is known the uh, secondary memory now secondary memory can be stored on a storage media just like floppy disk as i have told you that there are some examples under the secondary memory just like floppy disk magnetic disk like hard disk then magnetic tapes like uh, in the earlier time uh, 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 cassettes were used so this the cassettes uh, come uh, under the category of magnetic tape then uh, you can also say that this memory can also be stored optically optically means just like in a form of cd rom or dvd or uh, this is uh, known as optical devices in case of secondary memory 
hope the concept of secondary memory is clear to everyone now there are following main types of storage media or you can say uh, the secondary memory is divided into uh, three kind of storage media the first one is magnetic storage media means you can save the data in a form of a storage media magnetic storage media even though you can save the data uh, in case of uh, optical storage media and the third type of uh, storage media uh, that comes under secondary memory that is solid store state memories just like uh, flash drive or you can say the pen drive okay so uh, these are some types of uh, secondary storage media or secondary storage devices so one by one i'll tell you about uh, these types of uh, storage media of secondary memory so let us discuss the first kind of uh, media storage media that is magnetic storage media so magnetic storage media as i have told you that in case of magnetic media basically magnetic layer is used okay which is magnetized in clockwise or anti clockwise direction means when the disk moves then the head interprets the data and store that data even though in a bulk quantity you can store the data at a specific location by your choice okay so with the help of magnetic layer you can save the data in these kind of storage media in magnetic kind of storage media so what can be the example of this magnetic storage media just like floppy disk as you have seen that uh, floppy disk uh, is basically coated with one uh, layer uh, like black with black color or even though with different colors so that layer is basically the magnetic layer in case of magnetic tapes like uh, in the earlier time uh, cassettes were used so the, in case of that uh, reel were used so that is one example of magnetic tapes okay then uh, the most commonly used magnetic storage media in nowadays is hard disk okay because uh, in comparison to all the magnetic storage media devices the capacity of hard disk is very much higher even though it is used and it is flexible in nature okay so uh, this hard disk is most commonly used in nowadays now one by one i'll discuss the example of this magnetic storage media so the first example that is floppy disk so a uh, floppy disk is a flexible disk uh, with a magnetic coating on it as i have told you and it is packaged inside a protective plastic envelope uh, i don't know whether have whether you have seen uh, this floppy disk or not but uh, 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 at all time uh, the this floppy disk were used in the earlier days only after that the concept of uh, uh, hard disk came so i'll show you the picture of this uh, floppy disk first of all you just have a look about uh, the concept of this floppy disk so these are one of the oldest type of portable storage devices and uh, that could store only up to 1.44 mb okay so this is uh, a very uh, very small uh, amount of storage okay 1.44 mb only means you can save the data only uh, only up to this so this is a very uh, low size so that is why the concept of this floppy disk have gone and um, and uh, some different concepts uh, have came into existence so they are not used due to very less memory storage as i have told you so as you can see the picture of this floppy disk it looks like this so this basically uh, this is basically the magnetic layer okay so this is basically the magnetic layer with different different colors so this is uh, what this is uh, a picture of floppy disk in the earlier days uh, this the concept of floppy disk was used but nowadays uh, we uh, we don't use the concept of this floppy disk because the size is very low now the next concept that is uh, hard of hard disk so hard disk as 
i think uh, you all people have seen this kind of hard disk because uh, even though it is portable in nature mm-hmm. and uh, even though you can fix it with your computer or laptop and uh, if you want to use uh, um, as a, as an external device then even though you can use it as an external device also it looks like this so a hard disk consists of one or more circular disk that is called platters so basically hard disk works uh, on these platters which are mounted on a common splinter that means each surface of a platter is coated with a magnetic material okay so if you are using multiple platters and multiple coating is being uh, done with these platters then obviously the size of this uh, platter is will be obviously larger you can save more data in comparison to other devices so both the surfaces of each disk are capable of storing the data except the top and bottom disk where only the inner surface is used so the information which is recorded on the surface of the rotating disk by magnetic read and write heads so these heads are joined to a common arm which is known as axis arm so basically this is the uh, uh working of this hard disk or um, how it works so basically it is derived with the help of this uh, so just have a look and hope uh, this is clear to you people now the next type of uh, storage media that is optical storage media so optical storage media means uh, you can optically store the information even though you can, you can read using a laser beam in case of optical laser beam is used to read the data or to write the data so the data is stored as a spiral pattern of bits and ridges denoting as 0 and 1 so the example of optical storage media is like cds and dvds just like this so basically with the help of laser beam the data is being written in case of cd and dvd so this is basically the concept this is basically the picture of cd and this is the concept uh, this is the picture of dvd so the difference between these two is that size in case of cd is very less but in case of dvd even though we can save the data in gb but not in a very large amount but in comparison to cd we can uh, store the data in case of dvd in a very uh, large form so for today um, that is it so you just uh, read from this uh, video and even though you can uh, make the notes from it and after that uh, uh, we will discuss the next type of uh, storage media that is um, the last one that is kind of fan drive we will discuss even though we will discuss that uh, the different different types of optical disk also like in case of cd we are having different different types so we will discuss in the next session so till now uh, till then you just uh, read from this so thank you everyone thank you so much